The arrest of a fugitive wanted for murder and kidnapping is leaving behind a big mess. Exclusive video shared only with KXAN shows police cuffing and carting off 40-year-old Silvestre Franco Luviano from an apartment complex right across the street from Georgetown High School. This happened last night. KXAN's Alicia N. spent today speaking with people at the Park Place Park View Place Apartments, who saw it all go down and spoke with police about what's next in this investigation. I had no idea what was going on. I didn't believe it at first, honestly. A text from a friend of this video was enough for Wes Brower to rush home from work, <laughs> only to find SWAT team members inside his unit searching for a dangerous man. The back side of the apartment was the first one he was in, and he caught that one on fire. And then he kicked a hole through the wall and got into this one in the front and set that one on fire, too. And then they said he ran down the stairs, and that's when they caught him on the third floor. Wes says now there's so much water damage, half of the building is dealing with a cleanup they weren't expecting. My house is wrecked. <laughs> I got to go fix my house. Like, they had to move stuff to get my dogs out, throw the clothes around. Georgetown police say the situation could have ended much differently. This is the outcome that we want. We want no injuries to uh, citizens, officers, or suspects. So it worked out. It worked out perfectly. Nonetheless, it's leaving a scary scar for the people of Georgetown. I mean, our, our, you know, the community that I serve has been, been terrified, and understandably so, especially when they start hearing about what this, uh, these acts that are alleged to have been committed by this suspect. While police piece together the why, neighbors like Wes are trying to make sense of the how. It's, it's a shock. It's crazy to me. Stuff like this hasn't happened in Georgetown. Alicia Inns, KXAN News. Georgetown police say they found Franco Luviano in his sister's apartment. She is cooperating with police. Officials say he will face aggravated robbery and kidnapping charges because police say he snatched a landscaper from in front of a shopping center and then robbed him. But the murder warrant from Dallas County takes precedent over the Williamson County charges, so he has already been transferred back to Dallas. We have been digging into Franco Luviano's past. Federal officials say he is not a U.S. citizen and has been deported three times. According to court records, he was convicted of burglary of a vehicle and drug possession in 2010 in Williamson County. Franco Luviano is a suspect in two North Texas shootings over the weekend. Investigators say he fired at several vehicles in Dallas on Sunday, killing a man. Then, according to police, he traveled to Cedar Hill, southwest of Dallas, where he shot a man pumping gas at a Texaco station. That man died, and police say Franco Luviano got into that victim's car and drove away.